Hey guys, it's David here. And uh, some of you have been asking me if I'm going to upload more videos for Unit 2 Chemistry. And I know there's an uh, exam for Unit 2 Chemistry coming up quite soon. Uh, over the last uh, past few weeks, I've been preparing for some A2 exams, which I've which I've got. I this I still haven't had the exams yet, but they're starting next week. But uh, yeah, I know there's a Unit 2 exam tomorrow, so I'll make a couple of couple of, uh, a couple of videos today. But I probably I, I won't be finishing the whole of Unit 2, so yeah. But yeah, I, I, I after the exams, uh, especially for those of you who are going to do A2 chemistry next year, uh, I'll be making more videos for chemistry. And if you're doing other sciences, biology and physics, I'll be making videos for that as well. So yeah, sorry about the uh, uh, lack of videos right at the moment, but I'll be making some more very fairly soon. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about different types of formulas and so there's about four i'm going to talk about in this video i'm going to make talk about uh the other two in a different video but the, the four types of formulas i'm going to be talking about in this video are uh molecular formulas molecular formulas empirical formulas and you're probably familiar with these two from unit one chemistry this is just going to be like a little recap on that and uh, we're also going to be taking a look at structural formulas and we're also going to be looking at displayed formulas or formulae displayed okay so let's take a look I've got two examples of molecules here I've got this uh, I guess this is ethane and uh, ethanoic acid so let's first look at let's try and create let's let's look at what the four different formulas would be for the this molecule and the other one so through that i want to uh, explain what the four different types of formulas are now the formula i have right here you're probably familiar with this kind of um structure when you're representing a molecule this is called a displayed formula and what a displayed formula shows as you can see here is it shows all the atoms present in the molecule so you can see all of the atoms are shown and it shows all of the bonds between the atoms present in the molecule so you can see we've got single bonds between the carbons and the hydrogens so that's what a displayed formula basically shows now if you were to do the molecular formula for this a molecular formula shows uh in in its form in the molecular formula you can see the atoms the atoms present in the molecule and the number of the uh, atoms uh, well the number of atoms of each element present in the molecule so for this one we would have C2 since we've got two carbons and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens, so it'd be H6. Now, empirical formula is the uh, simplest whole number ratio of the uh, atoms of each element present. And so, in order to find that, we usually find it from the molecular formula. To do that, we divide this by the highest common factor. And in this case, the highest common factor is 2. So we need to divide the number of carbons and the number of hydrogens by two. And if we do that, we get C and we don't need to put the one there, but yeah, six divided by uh, two is three. So C H three. So therefore the, um, the empirical formula would be that. And the, um, the molecular formula would be this. Now let's take a look at the structural formula. Now what a structural formula shows is the, um, it shows it basically shows the molecule uh carbon by carbon so it basically shows you okay there's a carbon here and it's bonded to what what it's bonded to and then there's a the next carbon bonded to and it shows you what it's bonded to next carbon what it's bonded to and it just does that along the entire carbon chain carbon by carbon so in this particular case first we've got a carbon here so we've, we write that out we've got well yeah actually i, I just stick to this color so we've got a carbon here and we need to say what it's bonded to. So this one is bonded to three hydrogens. So we put CH3. And then we go move on to the next carbon and it's bonded to three hydrogens. So that now one is going to be C. Oop. Sorry, I was thinking H and saying C, sorry. So and then the next one is going to be CH3. So this would be the structural formula for this particular um, molecule. And as I said before, the displayed formula is what you can see here. Now let's move on to this next molecule and let's do uh, 
let's find out okay so this is the displayed formula and the molecular formula we need to count up the number of uh, atoms of each element so let's start with carbons you could start with anyone by yeah I, I kind of prefer starting with the carbons so first of all we have two carbons so we're gonna it's gonna be C2 then we've got we need to count up the hydrogen so one two three four hydrogens C2H4 and then we need to count up the oxygen so that's gonna be O2 so this would be the molecular formula so as you can see it shows all the number of each atom of um, number of atoms of each element and now we can use this molecular formula to find the empirical formula which would be the simplest whole number ratio so we need to find the highest common factor which is 2 in this case so divide that by 2 carbon 2 divided by, by um, 2 is going to be 1 but we don't need to put the 1 H 4 divided by 2 is just 2 and 2 divided by 2 that's going to be um, just O so CH2O this would be the empirical formula and we also let's take a look at what would the structural formula would be for this molecule so the structural formula as I said it shows you a carbon by carbon what each carbon is bonded to so it gives you a bit of an idea of or as, as to what the structure is so in this particular case it would be okay the first carbon we've got carbon and we've got three hydrogen so it's going to be CH3 and then we've got the next carbon and this is bonded to an oxygen a oxygen and oxygen is bonded to a hydrogen so the way we represent this usually uh, this group in general we represent it as COOH so what we're going to do down here is just uh, so yeah this would this would be uh, CH3 COOH and yeah this would be the structural formula the structural formula and as I said this is the this here we can see is the displayed formula since we can see all of the bonds uh, with single bonds double bonds and all of the atoms present so yeah these are the four first the four four um first four types of formulas that i want to show you so in the next video we'll be taking a look at the other two types of formulas